Hi everyone, this is Julia from Green Umbrella and today I'm just going to give you a very quick tour of the basics of Google Analytics because Google Analytics has recently changed in the last few months so we now have new navigation so I'm just going to take you through the basics. So I've logged into the Green Umbrella um, statistics so I'm going to share with you my statistics. Uh, the first thing I like to do is just click over here so if you go down to audience then overview and really I would like to look at things over the last 30 days and I'm just going to give you some comparisons as well so change it to the last 30 days then click apply and then you've got the statistics for the last 30 days um, in those stats so this is obviously over the last month so again we're going to have a look at audience so audience is actually analyzing who the people are that land on your website and this is quite key information so we're going to take a look here so the first thing is sessions. So a session is somebody who's landed on your website and has actually been on your website for 30 seconds or more. So they're not spam robots that are just hitting your website on a regular basis like that. They're actually people who are staying on your website and having a bit of a look around. So these are bona fide people. So as you can see here, we've got just over 30,000 sessions in the last 30 days, which is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. That's really good traffic. Uh, things that are probably not so good, on the green umbrella site the average session um, is 35 seconds so people are not staying on the site for very long uh, which actually means that the bounce rate is actually quite high so the bounce rate a bounce rate people think a bounce rate is when someone lands on your website and bounces straight off and that's actually not what a bounce rate means a bounce rate is when someone lands on your website and they've perhaps been on your website for half an hour but what they haven't done is explored another page so if they're bouncing off because they've looked at one one uh, page or perhaps a job on your website or something like that and they've come away without looking at another page on your website Google classes that as a bounce so actually a bounce rate you know is neither here nor there to be honest with you in my opinion um, because I think you know some people might just want to come onto your website just to get your telephone number or they might just want to read that one blog they've absorbed that information from your site that they've come on for therefore they've had a good customer journey therefore you know a high bounce rate is neither here nor there the next thing I always look at is country so if you have a look at country you can see here uh, my biggest traffic comes from the United States so it's a good job that I monetize my my site which is fantastic uh, the next one is from the United Kingdom so as you can see we've got the statistics there but you can have a look and see what countries uh, people are from one thing I want to say uh, if you're in the UK city you also get a lot from London now not everybody is actually from London there's a lot of IP addresses that are routed through London so it, it comes into the analytics that it's from London but actually it's not it could be from anywhere in the UK so it's worth having a look uh, down and seeing what cities people are coming from okay so as far as audience is concerned that's the general overview I wouldn't really go into too much other demographics here the only other thing I tend to look at and keep an eye on is what mobile traffic I'm getting so again if you could just come down to overview so click on mobile then overview you get your uh, demographics here as you can see a majority of our people if I just make this a little bit bigger uh, come from a desktop so people are sitting at their computers while looking at my website which is fair enough but you know it's only that's 56 percent if i add up the um, tablet and mobile together you can see you know we've got quite a high percentage as well coming from mobile so that tells me most things that i'm doing a lot of people are absorbing my information from one of these devices okay so things that i want to make sure is a i've got obviously a mobile web uh, mobile friendly website which I have but also have a think about your other marketing activities in mobile formats such as email marketing have that in the back of your mind knowing that you do get a lot of traffic from you know, your audience is actually absorbing quite a lot of information from mobile um, if it's less than 25 percent it's probably not as um, not as important but anything over 25 percent from mobile traffic you know you do need to think of a mobile marketing strategy okay so as I say that is it for audience okay the next one is acquisition so audience is the people acquisition is how did people get there and that's quite important okay so again we're going to have a look at overview I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what overview means uh, sorry what the different areas mean when it loads 
Okay, organic search is when people are searching on a search engine. So that might be Yahoo, Bing, Google. Just so you know, about 90% of searches are done on Google. So therefore, majority of that is going to be, you can uh, break this down. If you just click on there, it will take you through to the breakdown of where people are coming from. So it's worth having a look at that. Direct, you can see quite a few people actually know what my website is. This might mean, um, it means that people haven't come from somewhere. They've just typed your website address into the browser at the top, whether that's Internet Explorer, Edge, you know, Safari, Chrome, Firefox or whatever. They've just typed it in right at the top. Or they might have it bookmarked or they might have seen it from a business card um, and they've just literally typed it up or from a flyer or something like that. So they have come direct. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of traffic from social media. Being a social media company, I sort of expect that. Um, and I'm going to break that down in a moment as well. Um, referrals is the other websites where that uh, people have referred it to back to your site. So people have clicked on a link elsewhere on the internet and they've ended up on your website. So that's what referral is. And again, I'm going to break that down as well. Pay search, we had a little bit of Google um, AdWords campaigns in the last uh, last month or so just playing with that and we've had a little bit of traffic from there and obviously you've got other and email they sort of email sort of speaks for itself uh, not really sure what other is okay so let's break these two down then social and referral okay so if I come down to all traffic and then I can come down to referrals this will tell me my top 10 and I can break it down even more if I want to uh, of where my referral traffic is coming from now I know what you're thinking you're looking at this and you're thinking okay well Facebook LinkedIn Facebook Twitter Facebook co video is fantastic uh, Firefish it's nice to know we've got some traction from Firefish and discuss is nice as well but what on earth is social media doing in here when we've got a whole segment just for social well, actually there's different elements of the social networking platform so for example Twitter you can see I've got 79 referrals for Twitter if I go on to Twitter, okay, if anybody, uh, this is what I believe anyway, if anybody clicks on your bio, so if people have gone to your personal profile, come on, ding, 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 got distracted there by Sean Durant's hairstyle. Okay, and if you come down, if people click here, and then that goes back to your website, those statistics are recorded in this referral section here okay so that's the twitter referral there whereas if people are actually clicking in your tweets so if i click there and then that goes back to my website that's classified or counted as something within the social networking side of things and it's the same with elements of facebook and linkedin and all the rest of it where if people are clicking within your bio it comes through from referrals whereas if people are clicking um, in one of your tweets or one of your posts it tends to come through under social media okay so that is uh, m if you've got an m in front of facebook that means people are looking at your uh, website from a mobile Facebook so they've come from um, the, the Facebook app um, obviously that's LinkedIn Facebook Twitter uh, that's another Facebook co video for me is uh, some software that I use for attracting people back to the website so yeah 30 visitors that's good okay social networking is the next one so what social networking sites am I looking at the most or is bringing me the most traffic and you can see from my stats by far, Facebook is bringing me the most statistics. Obviously, this is in the last month, so 451 referrals from Facebook. So that's people clicking on my posts to drive traffic back to our website from Facebook. Uh, and we haven't paid for any advertising in this last month. So, you know, in my view, that's fantastic. LinkedIn is my second, and then Twitter is running in uh, behind third. It's good to see Instagram is starting to make a bit of an appearance there as well. So that's all good. The other thing, the last thing I wanted to show you with a quick overview is uh, under behavior. So it's all right knowing um, how people got to your website and it's all right knowing the type of people that got to your website. But you know what you want to know what pages they're landing on. What is it that's creating that sort of activity? And you can find that out underneath behavior. So let's look at behavior. And again, we're just going to stick to overview. Let's not dive too deep because we're just giving you the basics. And this gives you the top 10 
um, pages that people are landing on your website just so you know if you've got just the slash that's your home page that's what that means so most people the slash or the home page is actually right at the top um, so I did a video in March 2016 which is how to download a Facebook live stream and you know even in the last month I've had 6,900 hits on that particular you know, post so you know sometimes regurgitating that old content you know does work for you and this is proof in the pudding um, send office SMS text messages on the iPhone you know, I really should do more iPhone uh, videos because they do go down well but as you can see anytime I'm doing any sort of Facebook article then you know they or iPhone articles they do tend to work quite well so you know perhaps I should stick with doing some more Facebook articles anyway it's good to know that you've got that sort of traffic going to your website that's me signing out for a short video on a, a quick whirlwind tour of Google Analytics. If you've got any questions, you know where I am. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. All the links are in my channel uh, and I'll put the links down below to anything else that I've perhaps mentioned. That's me signing out for another day. Don't forget to subscribe. There, there. I'm not sure where. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.